All right, today we're doing a 98 Toyota Camry V6 LE. That that V6 3004 cam 24 edition. And we are changing the thermostat. The thermostat is located right there. That's the thermostat housing. Here's our lower radiator hose. So So yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is disconnect the hose. I already did that. Once you got that disconnected, there's a little clamp. There's a, there's a bolt holding this clamp in that helps support the thermostat housing inlet. So you got to take that bolt off. I don't know what size it is yet, but there's only one holding it in. Looks like an 11 or a 12, honestly. Maybe a 13. So let's get that clamp bolt off next. And after that, there's only two bolts holding the thermostat housing in place. One on top, one on bottom. Uh, you could disconnect this to get that out of your way. Okay, then once you're taking the thermostat housing off, make sure you got your, your tray underneath to catch any coolant that'll fall and spill down. And then the top bolt was a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter nut. Be, do your best and not dropping that. Got my magnetic tray to hold the bolts. So we got the top 10 millimeter off. Now we just got to get the bottom 10 millimeter off. All right, once you get the three 10 millimeter bolts out, holding the thermostat in, I mean thermostat housing in, the, the thing should be able to pop right out and expose your thermostat. There's the thermostat right there. We are about to pop it out right now with a, a hook. Should just be popped right in there. There's the thermostat. Now out of the car. It almost looks like it's stuck open. See how the seal right there doesn't meet up to the top? Looks like it's just stuck open. That's all right, because we got our new one. So here's our new thermostat right here. We got from CarQuest. That's what it's looking like. On this one, you can tell it's completely closed. On the old one, before it looked like it was stuck open, but I was able to get it closed a little bit more after after messing with it. But yeah, we got our new thermostat now, so this one's going in the garbage. What you want to do is get your your, your thermostat seal put it on the outside edge of the thermostat it's right in here oh you want to come wash your hands with the oh yep you ready now yeah we got some mint chocolate chip I'm pushing it in there Whew. put the final touches on Let's From Pagoda, uh, the eighth was uh, thirty-six. Oh, the quarter was thirty-six bucks because uh, I had a discount. From Pagoda? Yeah, Pagoda. I heard of them. Yeah, they got some good shoes. Uh, they, their papaya is really good. The ice cream sandwich is bomb. Hell yeah! All right, now I put a little bit of liquid gasket on the surface of the thermostat housing and the surface underneath 
the outside edge of the gasket of the thermostat itself <clears throat> to give it that extra, you know, to give it that extra seal that we need. And I'm also gonna put some gasket on the outside lip of this gasket. We're gonna put some liquid gasket there too to make sure and guarantee that we have no leak. All right, now, you, now I tighten the bolts down to just snug. I don't have my torque wrench on me, so that's, that's what it said online. Torque them down to just snug, which is what I did. Got this all the way tightened down, got the 12 millimeter bolt tightened back down. 